Good day, Math Buddies! Sir Serin here, your Math Instructor. For today's video, we will be discussing about linear function. Of course, we will be guided with this objective, and that is, given a linear function, ax plus by equals c, rewrite in the form f of x is equal to mx plus b, and vice versa. Before that, let us define linear function. It is a function defined by equation of the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers and m is not equal to 0. It is a relation that has the following properties to identify it. First, the graph representing a linear function lies on a straight line. Second, it is represented by a first-degree equation in two variables, it is a relation written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers and m is not equal to 0. Third, the value of a variable y changes at a constant rate with respect to the variable x. It is represented by m or the ratio between any two points as a constant. The process of transforming ax plus by equals c to y equals mx plus b and vice versa is a fundamental factor in solving certain linear problems. Let us now transform ax plus by equals c form into y equals mx plus b form where ax plus by equals c is considered the general form of an equation of a line while y equals mx plus b is considered as the slope-intercept form. Let's have our first example. Rewrite the equation 3x plus 5y equals 3 in the form y equals mx plus b. So what would be our solution? First, we will utilize subtraction property of equality as we subtract both sides by 3x. In order for us to eliminate this on the left side, the simplified equation becomes 5y equals negative 3x plus 3. Then, we will divide both sides by 5 to get rid of the coefficient 5 in our terms with variable y. The final equation is y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths, where our slope m is equal to negative 3 fifths and our y-intercept is equal to 3 fifths. Second example, rewrite the equation 4y minus 8 equals 2x in our slope-intercept form. Again, our solution is, we need to transpose negative 8 to the right side of our equation using addition property of equality. So we will get rid of negative 8 on the left side. The simplified equation is 4y equals 2x plus 8. Then, we will divide both sides by 4. y is equal to 2 fourths x plus 8 fourths. 2 fourths can be written as one half, while eight fourths can be simplified as two. Therefore, our final equation is y equals one half x plus two, where our slope m is equal to one half, and our y-intercept represented by b is equal to two. Another example. Let us rewrite the equation three x plus y equals ten in the form y equals mx plus b. Again, our solution is. We will get rid of 3x on the left side of our equation using subtraction property of equality. Subtract both sides by 3x. Our simplified equation is y equals negative 3x plus 10. In this case, our slope is negative 3 and our y-intercept is positive 10. Let us do the reverse this time as we transform the slope-intercept form into ax plus by equals c form. Let's have our first example. Rewrite the equation y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths in ax plus by equals c form. What would be our solution? First, we will get rid of negative 3 fifths x on the right side of our equation and transpose this one to the left side of our equation. Using addition property of equality, we will add both sides by 3 fifths x. So our simplified equation becomes 
3 fifths x plus y equals 3 fifths. Here, our x has a numerical coefficient which is in terms of fraction. To simplify our equation, we will multiply both sides by 5. Therefore, the final equation is 3x plus 5y equals 3. This is now the general form of our equation y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 3 fifths. Another example, rewrite the equation y equals 1 half x plus 2 in the form ax plus by equals c. So what would be our solution? In this case, we will get rid of 1 half x on the right side of our equation and transpose it to the left side of our equation. Using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 1 half x. Here, the simplified form is negative 1 half x plus y equals 2. Our x has a numerical coefficient of negative 1 half. So the best thing that we will do is to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 to make our a a positive integer. Our final answer becomes x minus 2y equals negative 4. This is the general form of our quadratic equation. Let's have the third one. Rewrite the equation y equals negative 3x plus 10 in ax plus by equals c form. So our solution is that we will add both sides by 3x to get rid of negative 3x on the right side of our equation and transpose it to the left side of our equation. Therefore, the simplified equation is 3x plus y equals 10. This is the general form of the equation of our line. This time, it is your turn. Transform ax plus by equals c form into y equals mx plus b form. Given equations are 12x plus 7y equals 4, negative y plus 15 equals 4x, 2y plus 3x equals 4 times quantity x minus 1. And transform y equals mx plus b form into ax plus by equals c form. Our given equations are y equals 2 thirds x minus 7, y equals negative 4x plus 2 thirds, y equals 9x minus 10. There you have it. Hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.